Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you my top 10 favorite album covers in my entire vinyl record collection. I've had this video idea for a very long time and I have a ton of records now, probably close to 100, and I have some really cool looking album covers so I want to share my top 10 favorites with you guys. And just as a quick disclaimer, this is just about the album covers themselves. It's not about the music, it's just about the artwork and the visuals and the overall aesthetic. It was so hard to make this list but we're gonna start now. So starting off at number 10, I have Beer Bongs and Bentleys by Post Malone. This album cover is actually not the same that's on streaming or on the CD. This is a vinyl exclusive cover and I really like it for its simplicity and how it matches the album's overall vibe and aesthetic. You've got a zoomed in close-up look at Post Malone's eye and I really like how the barbed wire is coming through it. I just think it matches the whole Beer Bongs and Bentleys theme perfectly. I find it really aesthetically pleasing. Maybe it's because of like the color palette too. It's very warm, simple colors and I also like the whole barbed wire theme with the album too. I don't know what it is about it but I just really really like it. Next up at number nine, I have Calm by Five Seconds of Summer. This is the Target exclusive vinyl cover. This is limited edition. This album cover is only on the Target CD and vinyl, so it's very exclusive in that way. And I really like it because of the blue going on. I love this blue lighting. Each member does have their own square here. So you've got Callum, Ashton, Michael, and Luke. I think I love it so much because of the blue. There's just something about this lighting that is so cool to me. And the photos are so beautiful. Like shout out to Five Sauce's photographers, Andy and Sarah, who did this. And of course it does match the blue vinyl to go along with that. But again, we are talking about album covers only. Part of me actually likes this better than the standard Calm album cover. I don't know, I like them both, but I think at the moment I might like this one a little bit more. Again, because I love the blue so much. Next, I have Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. This album cover is super, super simple. It doesn't even have the title of the album on it, but I think Dua looks so cool in this. It definitely matches the sound of the album, that 80s disco funk type of style. And she totally went with that theme for this album, which I really, really love. I think it was so fresh for like when it came out. I love the moon here. It looks super cool. And I did get the vinyl to match the moon, this light blue color. And I think it looks really nice too with like the pink. So so the pink and the blue I think match together really well. It's like that baby pink and baby blue color I really like. And then I just love how she's posing here and her makeup and hair are on point. And she's so serious too, like her face. I love it so much. My next favorite is Justice League. This is the Danny Elfman soundtrack to the Justice League movie that came out in 2017. It actually came out on my birthday so that's why I kind of have like a little attachment to this um, movie and to this album or the soundtrack I guess. And back then I was really 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 into comic books, Marvel and DC and I just love this cover art so much because it looks like it was ripped straight out of a comic book. It literally has like that same comic book art style, that comic book inked line work with the coloring too. When the movie came out I was super inspired by this image that I decided to draw it myself. So I do kind of have a little personal attachment or story related to this record. Next up is Memories Do Not Open by The Chainsmokers. I really really love this album cover because it gives such warm and cozy vibes. It's of a bedroom which is lit up with like these fairy lights. I really love the bedroom setting for this album cover. I think the lighting is really cool too. It's got like this kind of gold effect going on. I don't know what it is about it but I just really like gravitate towards this cover because of the bedroom aesthetic and it just looks really aesthetically pleasing to me. And, like I can relate to a lot of things in the room like photos on the wall or the fairy lights. I had that stuff in my room so I thought that was really cool and relatable and again I just love like the warm cozy feeling. And then of course you have the box there that says do not open with memories crossed out so that does give a little bit more behind the album meaning. You know kind of makes you wonder like what is in the box? What are those memories that you don't want to open? So I kind of like it for that reason. The lettering on here is also raised so it is bumpy when you move your finger across it and it is a glossy cover too. I don't know if you can tell but I really like that. My next favorite is Area 21. This is their debut album called Greatest Hits Volume 1. I absolutely love the lighting in this cover. The sunset colors are so pretty to me. These are like all of my favorite colors. And then of course you have the Eminem aliens down here for Martin Garrix and Major. And the music videos are animated so it obviously reflects that in the album cover. It's like this cartoon kind of drawing here for this album cover and I think it looks so so sick. And then of course you have like their um, spaceship here that 
Crash to Earth, so it does also kind of tell a little bit of a story. And then I also think the 21 with the triangle here looks really cool as well. So again, I just love this album artwork because of how like the little aliens are drawn and because of the colors. Next up is a record that is new to me. This is called Cyberfish by Sakai Yum or Saki Yum. Again, I'm very sorry for mispronouncing it. This was gifted to me a couple of weeks ago by one of my subscribers. But when I first unboxed this on my channel and I saw it for the first time, I was really, really attached to the cover art. I really gravitated towards it. Teal, light blue kind of color I think looks really, really cool. And then I also like it because it's like a combination of under the sea and space, which are some of my favorite like themes. So you've got like the kelp or seaweed here which is really tall and it's going all the way up here and then when you look up there it does look like a galaxy so it kind of gives off that feeling like you're underwater and then you're looking up at the top of the water and then you can see the galaxy which I think looks amazing and then of course you do have that school of fish there and I just love the combination really of space and that underwater theme. The back of the cover also has a little bit of a galaxy going on too or like a nebula or something and I love space which may or may not be foreshadowing. Even before I heard the music I really really loved the album cover. We're in the top three now and at number three I have Young Blood by Five Seconds of Summer. This album cover is only on the vinyl. The album cover on the streaming and the CD is different. I really love the overall like theme and aesthetic behind Young Blood. You've got the black and white stripes and then like a very colorful retro kind of style here. It almost looks like watercolor or something the way the colors are just flowing together. It looks really really amazing. I don't know what it is but I just absolutely love this font for Youngblood. I think it looks so so cool. I don't have any tattoos and I don't plan to get any tattoos but if I ever did I thought I would totally get this Youngblood tattooed somewhere. I just love the way it looks. Like it's that cool to me. Again they did a really great job with the overall aesthetic for this album and then you also have a picture of the members of Five Sauce here as well and I think they all took really great pictures for this album cover as well so that's why it's in my top three. And number two, I have Wonder Woman. This is from the Wonder Woman movie. This is the official soundtrack to the movie. And this music was composed by Rupert Gregson Williams. What I've noticed while filming this video is that I'm really a sucker for bright, vibrant colors, especially when it comes to a sunset, which you can clearly see here. I love the reds and the orange and the yellows and like the gold too. This cover is so so beautiful to me. I love it so much. She's kneeling with her sword. I think it looks amazing. Again, I'm just really drawn to the bright colors and they're so bold and it definitely matches Wonder Woman's aesthetic. And I love this so much. I just had to show you guys the rest of the artwork and the rest of the packaging. So here's what the back looks like and I think it looks so cool as well. Again, I love the blue like for the background and like this close-up shot looks amazing. There you can kind of see it better now. And then when you open up the gatefold, it's literally such a beautiful image of Wonder Woman. Again, with those colors that I love, the blues and the orange and the yellow. And then you've got her with her shield here. I think the inside of the gatefold looks amazing as well. And that's why I really love this um, album artwork and the packaging. That's why it's my number two. At number one, I have Interstellar. This is from the Interstellar movie by Christopher Nolan. This soundtrack was composed by Hans Zimmer. I absolutely love the album artwork for the soundtrack on vinyl. It's so beautiful. I literally am in love with it. I'm obsessed with it. I knew from the start this was going to be my number one. Like I said earlier, I am a big fan of space and astronomy, so that's why this is my number one favorite. Again, it's my favorite color. You've got pink and blue and some purple and black in there as well. And the back of this is also so, so pretty. I just have to show it. You've got Cooper and Murph um, at their house looking up into space and you could see some of the stars there even though it's like kind of during the day. I just love that so much. Like this blue is so pretty and it is a glossy cover as well as you could probably tell. So it is again very high quality. But I think my favorite is what's on the inside of the gatefold. This is like such a stunning image from the movie. The lighting on this side is actually really really cool. I love it. You know it's like that orange, um, yellow, and pink. And then it transitions into the darker colors going into black and blue at the end. Those were my top 10 favorite album covers in my entire vinyl record collection. Except for my number one pick, this was so hard for me to make, but I think I picked some good ones and there are a lot in there that I really love and I just love looking at and they're so visually and aesthetically pleasing to me. In the comments, let me know if you guys like any of the album covers that I picked in this video. Let me know if you have any of these records and if you like the album artwork as much as I do. Also in the comments, you guys can tell me your favorite 
favorite vinyl record covers that you guys have. Very soon, hopefully sometime in August, I will be making a video about my colored vinyl record collection. I will be showing off all of my colored vinyl. Stay tuned if you want to see that video. It's coming very soon and I'm very excited for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!